there were some people that thought it was like inappropriate and too much PDA. Although, you know, you look at TV these days and um, we were fully clothed. Hi, I'm Candace Cameron Bure and this is I Can Explain. explain I love this so Scott Weinger and I DJ and Steve just got married and here we were walking back into the house after we just said I do <laughs> oh okay one of my favorite t-shirts I just want to love Jesus and take nap <laughs> so there I was on the set of one of my Aurora Tea Garden mystery movies and I just had a very long day traveling in and doing a four or five hour costume fitting. And so I just, that t-shirt I wore said everything. <laughs> okay, I can explain. <laughs> My husband and I had a really great lunch with our son Lev and that cute little bridge. I thought, oh honey, let's take a picture together. And after, you know, 10 photos, he put his hand there and it was the last picture we took. And when we looked through them, we both laughed and I was like, we were like, that one's so funny, let's post it. And then it blew up on the internet. <laughs> I did not know so many people would have an opinion on it. And there were lots of people that were like, you guys go because, you know, 24 years. I'm like, that, I'm, I'm so happy we're flirting and we have fun together. This is a really good thing. But there were some people that thought it was like inappropriate and too much PDA. Although, you know, you look at TV these days and um, we were fully clothed right. and, and I think it was pretty innocent. So John Stamos and I were at Wango Tango and we didn't even know that we were both presenting. So we saw each other backstage. We were like, let's take a picture. And we had, and then because of that picture, there's a little hairspray uh, can from L'Oreal. And then L'Oreal ended up sending me a lot of hairspray. I was really happy about that because it was my favorite. <laughs> oh, I'll never forget this day. This is like, this makes me want to just well up with tears. That was our final episode of Fuller House after we finished the show in front of the live audience and took our final bow. And then I, there I am, my husband came up um, and gave me a beautiful bouquet of roses and gave me a big kiss and said congratulations. And it was a really sweet moment. <laughs> this is one of my best throwbacks. I love this. So that's, that is me with Jaleel White, who of course was Steve Urkel. And we were good friends while we were doing the shows because Full House and Family Matters were on at the same TGIS. And our stages were just a couple rows down from each other. We worked on the same lot for several years. So Jaleel and I were pretty good buddies. Oh, that's me with uh, Melissa Joan Hart. Mm -hmm. It's so funny because we've of course known each other for years and we did work once together, although we didn't really work together, but we were on an episode of Boy Meets World together, but she just made a cameo at the end of it and we weren't actually in the scene together. So in passing, like at, at a wardrobe fitting, we kind of said hi. But we were both on these television shows, but we didn't know each other. Right. And now as adult women, we ended up connecting and we often talk and I'm so inspired by her because she's such a fabulous director. And I just started directing a year and a half ago. So I'm always like, Melissa, how do you, how do, you do this? How do you do that? And so we talked so many times over text and through social media, but that was like, the first time we actually in person got to sit down and have dinner and enjoy each other's company. Okay.